In the next several slides, we will be working on different methods of proof. This video is about direct proof. So in a direct proof, essentially we are just going to assume that the antecedent is true and then use the rules of inference, axioms, definitions, etc. to show that the consequent is true. So we're assuming P is true, we're proving, excuse me, proving Q is true. So that is our goal. We did this a little bit already when we talked about the rules of inference. We did a direct proof um, and it was a formal direct proof. So for each and every step, we gave the axiom or rule that we used in order to prove it's true. So on the next uh, couple of examples that we're going to do together, these are going to be direct proofs, but they are going to be informal proofs. So let's take a look at how this might look. Now we are trying to prove if n is an odd integer, then n squared is odd. So one thing that might be helpful is we do have some definitions. We know that if something is even, an even value of n, we could write as 2k. Uh, so if it's like an even integer, we can call n 2k, where k is some other integer. If we have an odd integer, as we do here, and of course this one works because if you take it times two, of course it's going to be even. If you have an odd integer n, we can define that odd integer as 2k plus one, again, where k is some other integer. So that is what we're gonna do here in order to um, complete this proof. So I'm going to say, assume n is an odd integer. So again, in a direct proof, we assume that this is true, and then we go about proving this is true. We're trying to prove n squared is odd. So if I assume that n is an odd integer, then n equals 2k plus one for some integer k. And we can see already that this looks different than the proofs that we did that were basically a two column proof or a formal proof. I'm just basically writing it in sentences how I would explain to someone else. So n equals 2k plus one. If I square both sides, I get n squared equals 2k plus one squared. Of course, I can FOIL that out. I get 4k squared plus 4k plus one. And that's great. And you could go about trying to say that that value is odd, but we already know how we express an odd integer. So what if I was able to write it like this, where I'm going to take a two out of my first two terms So that looks a little bit more like how I would name an odd integer. And I can even go a step further and say that this is 2r plus one, where r is 2k squared plus 2k, which is obviously some integer. Therefore, um, so, or therefore n squared, is an odd integer. Now, when we finish a proof, there's different ways that people express that they have proved that it is true. So in your book, you'll see the little triangle. Uh, you might also see a square, or you might see QED. Any of these are perfectly acceptable ways to say, yes, in fact, all of that work did prove that n squared is an odd integer. So this is our second example that we're doing together, and it's always a good idea to challenge yourself to try to actually do the proof yourself first. So if you're so inclined to press pause right now, go ahead and prove that this is true, and then check your work against what I come up with. All right, so we have proved the sum of two even integers is even. So I'm going to assume that I have two even integers. So I'm going to say, suppose 
A and B. Sorry, that's my fat fingering down here. A and B are even integers. I'm assuming that that is true. Then A equals to X or whatever letter you choose and B equals to Y for some integers X and Y. So essentially, I'm just using that definition that says, hey, if you have some even values, you can re-express them as two times some other integer. So now I'm going to look at the math portion of this. So if I have a plus b, which is the sum of my integers, re-expressed as 2x plus 2y, then I might be able to write this as 2 times the quantity of x plus y using the distributive property, which could, of course, be called 2r, where r is some integer that is equivalent to x plus y. And then, of course, I can say since 2x is even, or sorry, since 2r is an even integer, we can conclude the sum of two even integers is even. Now I didn't have to re-express everything there at the bottom, um, but not a bad idea, just so that you're right in your own head and know that yes, what you have done is prove that the sum of two even integers is even. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and share it. Uh, up next, we are looking at another method of proof called contraposition.